is July 17th. Okay. Uh, we need to start with a uh, disclaimer this evening. I see we're being filmed, and, uh, and as much as the filming is not endorsed or sanctioned by the Board of Selectmen, the Board of Selectmen cannot attest or verify to the completeness of the accuracy of the film. Okay, uh, tonight's uh, first uh, the second of minutes for uh, June 19th, 2013. You guys take a look at those. Yeah. You have a motion to accept those? I'll make the motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Uh, great. Uh, I distributed the reports to you, and uh, because of the heat this evening, hopefully you got a chance to read them. Yeah. Okay, the animal control um, uh, report, there are some really interesting items in there um, that uh, continue to plague us. And but basically, those are the ones where the, the dogs are, are mostly dogs out uh, unattended. Uh, I talked to the uh, animal patrol officer about that, and she is on a, a campaign to make sure that all the dogs are home the of the uh, uh, town clerk's office uh, are uh, properly uh, um, licensed. So she's working hard on that. But uh, did you have any questions on any of the items? Okay, can I have no, I Okay, Bob, how about you? No. Do you have a motion to accept that? Sure. Okay. I'll second. Thanks. Uh, Connecticut State Troopers uh, report, uh, which we got, is basically uh, more, more of the same with regard to the uh, accidents. One of the highlights, motor vehicle infractions, uh, is 299, which is actually down, believe it or not. Uh, not a lot, really, but uh, we have authorized uh, some overtime for the speeding um, of patrols, mm -hmm. uh, and those are beginning to show some results that we'll also talk to the troop about. Speeding up, uh, putting up uh, more uh, patrols at the uh, Miller's Pond. Uh, so we should start to see some action activity there. Uh, but overall, right now, we seem to be on target. Adam Meg Fair is coming up uh, shortly. I talked to them about expensing uh, that uh, uh, so we can control the expenses uh, uh, on it and making sure that they send everything to us so we can distribute the billing uh, accordingly rather than sending the bill directly to Adam Meg. So, so there's a little time they had in there? Well, there was a time that we <coughs> kind of split it up and, and we got a little sloppy, but we want to make sure we control it so it's sent to us and we will build it. But that's coming up quite fairly shortly. Do I have a motion to accept the um, um, state police report? I'll make a motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay, Adam Municipal Agent and Adam Senior Center, both of those are uh, on file with you. Um, Fairly consistent on both of them. I have uh, initiated a, which is not in here, I have initiated the uh, 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 guidelines, official guidelines and uh, uh, operations manual, if you will, for the senior center. Uh, I have initiated a emergency um, contact form for anybody who's attending an incident report form for anyone who is injured, uh, a uh, form for um, uh, responsibility, a less so responsibility form for anybody who uses the, uh, the Heath Senior Center um, uh, for senior purposes that is not a town agency. Uh, and uh, what's the other form we have? Oh, an inventory form. We have an inventory form. So those forms would be, are, are all going to be part of the Senior Center uh, Operations uh, Guidelines. And I think that will make, make it easy for, uh, easier for uh, management to uh, stay in top of things there. The, um, the, what are the reports of? Uh, the, uh, well, the reports of those will come to us, uh, and, and, uh, but they will be held, a copy of them will be held at the, uh, uh, at the Senior Center Emergency Contact Form. Instant report obviously comes to us for insurance purposes. Right. Inventory comes to us. Okay. okay. Uh, there is uh, the senior center continues to have uh, nuisance problems with regard to cleaning. Uh, we had uh, the health agency look at it. Uh, we had uh, our maintenance people look at it. Our uh, uh, the building department looked at it. Uh, it's old. It's, uh, it's it's continually one cleaning problem after another. Uh, we're trying to maintain it on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. so we had a meeting with Mark and, 
uh, some of the cleaning people in the Chatham uh, Health folks uh, about a month or so ago and suggested that uh, uh, we put together a list and just con constantly uh, follow on that list to see where things would be heading, which we have done. The problem you've got there is the place is old and, 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 and it's missing convenience and it's a, it's a tough location. Uh, what I suggested to Mark is that he, he give me his best effort in, in, in sketching out something. Uh, if I were to have a, 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 another senior center, what would it look like? Okay, what would you, where, yeah, what, 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 what do you need? What would it look like? I, uh, I had the firm sit in on that meeting as well. The firm's got some software that he can kind of blend in and put together kind of a uh, extrapolate a plan for what a, a different, I won't say new senior center, but a different senior center would look like. Uh, there are a couple of alternatives that we might be able to have. One may be an addition to uh, an existing building. One may be a, 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 a you know, construction of a new one if we, if we could over a period of time. Uh, if age is the problem, it's yeah. be good. It's, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, age is, age is definitely a problem. Building, if that's, if that's well, we have, well, one of the interesting things, we have the annex, uh, which is uh, Nice location with a lot of a lot of land, mm -hmm. uh, and that uh, and uh, we theoretically could put an addition, a good size new addition on that for uh, you know uh, a reasonable amount of money. Okay. Uh, so that's something that. You know, so consider. is the facility inadequate? You think, or just because it's old? Uh, it, the flow is inadequate. Uh, the, the the place is old. Uh, we're having trouble, you know, controlling it from a maintenance standpoint and a cleaning standpoint. Uh, we have uh, about 20,000, I believe, in the capital plan to redo the front. The, the, yeah. it's, 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 not, it's, it's not safe from a, from a code standpoint, but it's grandfathered in, but it still needs work. Uh, and so the parking area needs work. Uh, uh, so uh, so it's something, something to think about. It. We're, trying to, we're, trying to, we're trying to maintain it. We're trying to, to, take, to do what we have to to keep it safe and healthy and clean. Uh, but at the same time, man, it might be time to start thinking about uh, another location at the time of the world. Okay, those are the two reports from uh, our uh, municipal agent and our senior center manager. Can I get some of those? Bob? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, uh, now this is the one we're talking about, the uh, community uh, center cleanup project. Okay, about six months ago, uh, a couple people from uh, the Hagen Coalition group came to visit with me and said, hey, what if we were, we're looking for a, uh, a community project? What if we, we attack the uh, community center? You know, it's, it needs a lot of work, I and mean, it's not being used up to its potential. Uh, we can go in there with a group of people, take a look at it, see what it needs, you know, come back to you, and then and, 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 uh, give you know, some, use some ideas for the least. Uh, the second time they came back to me, it was just kind of more of a cleaning thing. And the third time they came back, they, they, they kind of did much more of a laundry list, a very detailed list. They talked to several contractors. They talked to several people for to get uh, funding. Uh, they really put a lot of hard work into seeing what could make this thing really good at the Uh and Center. And because it is a community effort on behalf of a group of, of, of one of our groups, I thought it would be nice if the board selected to look at this and endorsed it as such. This will not. This is not meant to look for any funding from us. We have a maintenance budget, and if we can extend that maintenance budget to those things that are proper maintenance items, we will do that. The things that they're talking about here, they want to go out and, and, and have uh, some funding secured, some funding line, and uh, to get done. I have given them my guidelines with regard to if you have a contractor, you have to get the proper, proper documentation. You have to get the proper insurance. You have to, you have to maintain supervision. If you have a volunteer, a volunteer has to have supervision. And the job that they're assigned has to be within the realm of their abilities of what they can do and so on. And we went over all this and, and, and none of these things appear to be, uh, that they've outlined, appear to be you know, horrendous and, and work effort. But collectively put together, there's a lot of work. And there's a lot of money that needs to be, be, be uh, secured. What I wanted to do, and that's one of the reasons I sent this to you ahead of time to take a look at, is to simply endorse this effort tonight and to see if there's anything in here that is troublesome that, uh, that, that may be something that we might want to ask them to avoid. Uh, and uh, so I'd like to solicit your input and your, and your endorsement. Well, okay. Uh, it hasn't come before. 
the worst luck in the end. But the Friday night concert for our Madame Riverdale, we have a park and rec department doing the concert. They're going to be using the outside area in front of the community center for some activities. Park and records. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they've got everything totally lined up. They've got ideas. Mm -hmm. And because that has not been made public that they're doing, but it's in the works, I want to make sure that the outside area is not going to be impacted by anything these people are doing. They're storing things temporarily uh, because of their, you know, well, we don't know what we're going to do with it yet, or wait for the junk man to come, or wait for the tax sale, or whatever. But that's my concern, is that okay. the outside area, you know, in front of the <coughs> garage doors, basically remain clear, at least until after the half of the and the dates of those are what? Uh, September is, I don't know. First, uh, September, uh, first September 6th, 6th is the concert. Okay, that's the night. Right. That's the night. And if it rains on September 6th, they may or may not do something on the afternoon. So. Okay, well, we can, we can verify that for you. At the last stage, there's a community center cleanup chart. Uh, which uh, which starts in June and goes on through January of 2014. If you notice that, that period of time, it says general uh, demo, which I'm not going to clean up, uh, which appears to be around that time, right. around right. that yeah. September time. Yeah. September. Yeah. Okay, so we can we can make sure that that doesn't interfere. Yeah, they can do anything they want. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like they're talking about the bathroom or some other things. Uh, do something before. Okay. So we'll That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Then the next question comes in about the groups that are using it. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen, I thought, was assigned to somebody, like the BFW or somebody. Is that true? Well, say something. Please, please. I uh, thought been getting emails back and forth of Paul was kind of, you know, when Paul was out and everything, and I, I did send most of them to Paul. Um, what they're saying is, because they were doing an inventory of, of everything, and when I got the inventory, I sent an email back questioning the kitchen area because the VFW is in there and they use that kitchen and blah, blah, and I told her to get a hold of Claudette Saroyce. And um, Claudette, uh, um, Cindy told me Claudette is the one that they spoke with, and she said, just get rid of everything in the kitchen. Well, I think Bob's talking about more than the use of the kitchen for, for functions. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, well, well it seems to me about four or five years ago, yeah. there was some activity about the kitchen where if somebody wanted to use it, so they said they clean it up and they put our stuff in it, so we can use it because what was there was unacceptable. And That's right. Old or dilapidated or in some way not acceptable. Right. Because there was no stove that worked in there. They brought in a microwave. They do have a stove in there. I believe they have this group. This is the BFW. BFW. Right. So they're storing stuff in the garage area. That's correct. Because now, a lot of their kitchen stuff. Yeah. You know, the pots, the pans, the right. dishes. And then they're using the kitchen. Well, what do they, what do they use that? When do they use that? Well, they use the do they kitchen. they have events, uh, monthly events or something? They have monthly meetings. Yeah. Uh, and the men have their VFW meetings down there as well. Uh, there are times where we do have a uh, dinner, uh, a couple of times maybe a year, and our Christmas parties are down there. Um, you know, so they do use the kitchen area, but mostly they uh, they have all of their other things stored in the uh, base. Right, right. So. And I know that um, one of the questions, I believe, in some of this correspondence was um, the, um, oh my God, what was I just going to say? <laughs> well, the vending machines they're looking at, too, to, to take care of. But they're trying to also, I believe, get the kitchen up to code. And they're talking about possibly putting new cabinets in there as well as countertops. This group, 
there's a community group that's trying to make this building for the community, not that's correct. That's correct. That's, that's correct. correct. Yes. Yeah. And again, there's a fundraising dollars that are being brought in here to do this. Not this is not, not asking us to do anything more than what our maintenance budget would allow, and that is an heck of a lot. But like I said, there's some activity that occurred. Mm -hmm. of funding. Right. So then what we'll look well, what we'll have to just kind of also that. check with Betty to see if anything can really be understand. They probably already did this. Yeah. They probably already probably check with checked with her already, but let's double check and make sure that nothing else is uh, you know um, booked that it needs to be moved. This department of rush stuff was not gonna help. Right. Yeah. Okay, not right. 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 okay yeah. we can open it. We'll make sure it's open. Yeah, yeah, I have a couple of comments. One is to make sure they don't disturb anyone else who's using it. Are aren't there aren't there commissions that need them? Yes. Are they gonna know? Are they gonna be relocated? You know, you know, I, think, I think that's one of the reasons why Paul wanted me to check with Betty to see yeah. if there's anybody yeah. scheduled for meetings yeah. in there. And whether or not the work that they're going to do is going to interfere with it. Yeah. Or anything yeah. on it. Like those moves that are going to have, is it the intention to move them? Yes. Then what are we doing? Wide open room? No, they've got chairs. They, they I think they're talking tables and chairs. They're talking about replacement yeah. for chairs. So when these groups? Yeah. Like the economic development needs there. Yeah. I mean, I go right in there. There's usually cars in there, right? Mm -hmm. right. right. I'm going to double check with Betty to see if maybe the uh, vision group, the bigger vision group, has talked to her about rescheduling any of these meetings. Yeah. Now, there may be some inconvenience, okay? Right. I don't think there's any right. doubt about that. But the point is that this is probably, you know, we're constantly, we're constantly harassing the community to say, get involved, do things. We got the, the, the Committee for Civic Pride, we got the, the um, you know, other, other groups that were trying to get involved. This is a group that came up and said, hey, look, we, this is part of what we want to do as a group is to give back to the community and do something good for you know for the community. And let's face it, the community center really isn't the most attractive place in the world to have community you know, functions. So I think, you know, I gotta, I, you know, I gotta give them a vote of confidence to, to take on this this uh, you know this project. Uh, I, I think it requires patience, I think it requires some balance on things. It requires cooperation among other groups. It does, it does. And it also, it also requires make sure that they're doing things by book. And we have firm, and, uh, who's uh, on top of it from a building department standpoint, that is on top of it from, from a maintenance standpoint. There's going to be a little, you know, a little work involved, but so far they're fairly organized. Is that, yeah, I mean, the, the, the ultimate goal is fine. We're talking about logistics and how we're going to get it done. And uh, also what I want to monitor is I want to make sure they have the money to complete it. Right. So, so what, right. what I see by their chart is they're demolishing <laughs> things before they miss it. No, they won't. They won't do that. I'm well, sure they, 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 will have, they will have the money before they demolish things. Well, the demolishing things is done by October. If you look at their fundraising. If that goes all the way into next year. Yeah. A general demo. I mean, like for example, there you talk about replacement chairs, mm -hmm. but they're removing the boots. Do they only replace the chairs? Not the no, I don't know they the don't answer. Don't have. Them. Yeah. So my fear is they, they start ripping everything yeah. out. They don't have the money to repair, even though no great intentions. Yeah, it's, great. it's wonderful intentions, but they got to have the money before they start removing things and demolishing. Otherwise, yeah. it, it, like you said, people go in there to have to do it. Yeah. Well, it's, a good, it's, a, it's a good point. Just like this, with no chairs. Right. right. So um, I, think, I think the money should be in place before they, I mean, what they're trying to do is wonderful. They, they, they're nothing against it, just don't want to make, they just want to make sure it's not torn up. And all of a sudden the town gets a big bill, the front of today, it's going to cost you 70 grand to get this thing up to code. Yeah, you know, is this, yeah. oh, well, once you open that wall, we need to realize what's under here, and all of a sudden, boom. Well, that's why we have, that's, that's why we have Fern, Fern and Debbie involved yeah. in at, the, at the outset. As far as the, the, the demo part of it and, and having money to replace times is a very good point. And I think that's something that we should follow along with the insurance aspects. Okay. So we'll sure that. I think the idea is wonderful. Okay, that's all I basically need from you guys. Is you, you like the idea? Do you endorse and say, hey, look, at nice, nice going, guys? I like the idea. I'm a problem with the idea. I just want to make sure they cooperate with the people that are present in the region. Okay, how about we try this for a motion then? That uh, we, we, we would endorse. We, we um, highly endorse the the, uh, the effort from the uh, uh, the vision group uh, uh, and uh, with the um, 
advice of, uh, to be sure that their fundraising is on target before uh, any, uh, any demolition, demolition work is begun with the advice that they, they, they uh, coordinate their efforts with the, with, with the first selectmen, with the uh, building department, and with the maintenance department, and with the advice that the other groups that are using uh, the, uh, uh, the building uh, take uh, preferential treatment. But Mr. Contact, you know, yeah. they work for all, they work for all of the other groups. And I believe they have met with several, I mean, they have had several yes. groups meeting down there to, to talk about all of this. It wasn't just the VFW. Yeah. Um, the, I think the veterans were involved. Yes. Um, yeah. was ABC was involved in this. Yeah. So, it's youth, so, it's, so it's youth and family from there. Right. Their yeah. So they've been meeting you know, with everybody. And some of those people were actually on this, on this committee. So, so they're pitching in. Yeah. All right, I have a second on that motion? Sure. All right, great. All in favor? Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, the um, town clerk has uh, um, received the historic document preservation grant that we have applied for, the amount of $4,000. It's cut and dry. Uh, there's uh, no town commitment, no real controls. Um, that we, we exercise uh, grant work and expenditures can begin after this college receive a copy of the fully executed uh, uh, resolution, uh, for which I need your approval to sign it. So that motion, mm -hmm. all in favor? Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, we have a request from the uh, fire department. Uh, to reallocate some capital non-reoccurring expenses. Okay, I'm going to go slowly with this because I had to go back to them three times to get the right information for you guys to, to consider here. What we need to do with this request is to send it to the Board of Finance uh, with our recommendations. And then they, in turn, once they approve it, will have to have a, 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 a town meeting because it's over uh, $20,000. And also is a, is a change in the capital plan expansion program. Uh, in a letter dated June 19, 2013, the fire department requested the board of selectmen ask the board of finance to reallocate the funds totaling $42,300 to enable the department to replace one of the two oil fired boilers at Station One with a propane boiler. The request involved two different account number lines: line 179200, etc. Um, had a volunteer fire department apply movement, station number two and three, $25,000. Apply movement system has already been installed at station three. Okay. Second, line 179200, etc. Uh, had a volunteer fire department apply movement at station two, 17300 there is a thirty-five. There is thirty-five thousand dollars in the account, and the proposal to install the system in Station Two is for seventeen thousand seven hundred. The, the balance of seventeen three. A purchase order has been issued for that installation. Why we? Why is thirty-five thousand was approved and was done for seventeen seven? I don't know. Um, the reallocation of the, of the balance of these two accounts will be used in conjunction with line seventeen ninety two. So, Adam volunteer fire department replaced boiler in station one uh, in the amount of $10,000 to replace the boiler. The existing 120-gallon oil fire uh, domestic hot water here will also be replaced with a propane one. If there is an additional question, please advise. Okay, the request of June 19th is there, but it is better served on the first page. I asked them to go back and give me the estimates, which we didn't have. Uh, so, you know, for written estimates from the uh, on proposals, and we have the written estimates on the proposals now, which bear out the numbers that they have asked for. Uh, so, that's basically where we're at now. We just basically need to uh, send this on to, to the um, Board of Finance, get their approval to make that adjustment, and take it to a town meeting. I know you I knew you would have. <laughs> 
This is out of a normal town budget. This is out of the capital non-reoccurring budget, the capital plan. The capital plan? It's out of the capital plan. They yes. have numbers like 17, yep. 92, yep. 200 in the capital plan. The capital plan, yeah. Yeah, see, it's a justification for reallocating capital non reoccurring transfers. Or they have a capital, capital expenditure within their regular. This, this, is out, this is out of the capital plan. That's the reason why we're being uh, asked to move it around. So this thing. Uh, You have a capital plan with it? Yeah, some person. If you have concern, we can verify that and take it back. Well, it. I got the capital plan. Okay. They're, not, they're not listed in the capital plan. Oh, we'll take a look at it. Okay. It says a justification for reallocating I capital non reoccurring You've got it under CNR, under capital non reoccurring transfers? Here. Here's the capital plan. Replace the truck, anchor, and the capital plan. Capital plan. Capital non reoccurring uh, transfer. Well, I'm trying to do it. No, no, I understand. It should be under the capital, capital uh, non reoccurring fund. Where is this reallocation of the capital non reoccurring fund? It's the year of the budget. Well, it says 12 and 13. So the first item is, is for the 12 13, and the second item is for the, it looks like it's from 13 14. There's no item that we even talk about. I wonder if they, within their yearly budget, have a thing called that. No. You mean in their own, uh, they may have, I don't know, but the, this is they're talking about the capital recurring. Sean, can I buy your glasses, please? Yes. <coughs> Do you have trouble understanding whether this is one that's left over? Well, it looks like this is a Forty two three, three years to spend it for that instrument. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I think he's saying it's thirty five thousand. Oh where are you? I'm sorry. No, I'm trying to read this. It's thirty five thousand yeah, and they okay. only and they spend less than that leaving seventeen three somewhere, but I can't tell what that That was for the fly station uh, the fly movement for station number two. Yeah, we had allocated thirty five thousand, they spent seventeen three, which we won't have. Excuse me. Here's the plan right there. The capital improvement plan. Okay. Uh, page 10. Oh, I've got yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's the, what's the, uh, what's the uh, That's in the yearly. Station 3 is 25000 total yeah, cost. It's a couple, it's a couple of right. And then uh, climb event station 2 is 35000 Right. Um, is that right? So they spent 0 to $25,000, what they're saying? You say line, yeah, they spent like, the appointment system is already it hasn't already installed in three. Yes, yeah, so they 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 spent zero on the twenty-five thousand. That's right. And yeah, they spent uh, the thirty-five thousand they spent seventeen three um they made a balance of seventeen three. They spent seventeen seven and they had a balance of seventeen three. So the two combined are forty two thousand three hundred. Plus the one other ten thousand. Yeah, reallocate plus the one other ten thousand. So that was your ten thousand. Reallocation of these two here. Allocation of balance was two pounds for use of construction of the amount of ten thousand to be fixed one. Okay, reallocation of the balance of these two accounts will be used in conjunction with line 17920 uh, 
station number one in the amount of ten thousand dollars to increase the rating. So some so number one's got ten thousand dollars in there. Yeah, yeah, I know. This where, is my where, yeah, where they're saying, what, what, what is the fifty-two thousand three hundred needed for? There is paperwork. It's already done. There's paperwork in that packet, I believe. Yeah. Uh, okay. What they want to do is they said the uh, request is to prove we will be able to replace the worst of the two oil plant boilers with efficient propane fire boiler. We will also replace the 120 gallon fire electric domestic hot water heater with a propane fire. So that's what that's for. It's going to cost them $52,300 $52, to, to, $52, to make the change to go from the oil fire to the propane fire. That's what it sounds like. Savings or something? Save money. What is the benefit to it? Yeah, okay. If you look at the at the, at the uh, purchase order, okay, which is following, that's that's your that's your amounts that they need. So it's fifty two thousand three hundred dollars. This is the items that they're going to use it for. Right. Is it a benefit to the town? What's wrong? Is it, is it well, not working? Is it, is it just saying propane is more efficient? Is there a reason to switch it? I assume that it's inefficient, it's inefficient, it's not working. Okay, no problem. Here's the things that they're going to do, a proposal uh, on, on, uh, on the back of this panel. Move, disconnect, blah, 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 blah. Install the new one, raise the rate I mean, this is money that they're just moving around, basically. The only thing they're looking for is the additional ten thousand dollars, and actually that's being taken from the line as well. Well, according to this capital plan, they had ten thousand in the stock. They choose ten thousand in the future. Ten thousand. So the reallocation of the balance of these two accounts will be used in conjunction with line 1790-213-10008 uh, to replace the boiler at station number one in the amount of $10,000. Is that for the 2012 budget? Uh, it looks like this, is, like, this looks like it's a 12 Okay, and then what are they asking for this current budget? Uh, there was, well, there was, there was thirty-five. There was uh, thirty-five thousand in, and they spent seventeen, seventeen three. So they got seventeen seven. So that's basically what they want to do. Is they want to move? They want to move those around? Yeah, I'm just reading the first paragraph. It just says, it just says to replace. Well, it says to enable the department to replace one of the two oil fire boilers with a propane. Well, the point the point is that you know, this, this is this is basically in the uh, you know, this, items in the capital plan. The expenditures are there. We want to move around here and put a new new boiler more efficiently. I mean, if you like, you could bring in the, uh, the uh, well, some yeah, people from the fire department and sit down and explain exactly right. Manage technically, sure. We approve it because the board plan. Mm -hmm. But the board finance says, okay, you still wind up on town meeting. Yeah. To, because of it's over the $20,000 right. market. That's right. That's right. Sorry? Is that the bounty board speak? Yeah. Why do you need why do you agree stuff? Well, well no, that's right. you just need to you need to send us on the board of finance. I don't I mean I'm willing you, to send you, the board of finance. You're willing to send them, okay. If you need more information as to why specifically they want to replace that boy, that I mean, we can get somebody from the fire department and sit down and tell us why. Okay, it's up to you guys. There's going to be two other people that can ask that same question. The board of finance and the town. I mean, when you think when you think that this that it's because it's needed, I mean, that's. I, I don't know. You know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I would recommend something that's more efficient. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Well, since there's some doubt, okay. Since there's some doubt, let's send it back. Okay, there's no rush on this. Let's send it back. Let's get somebody from the fire department here to explain why we need. Okay. Okay, next item is um, the um, um, 
called the request for abatement of, of property taxes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall, I'm going to get it. This is... Um, I think I got this one. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. This, these are reasons. William, William Cox, uh, in the amount of $215.11 uh, real estate. And uh, Kenneth, K-E-S-T-E-R-M-O-N-T. Uh, in the amount of $250 per state. Okay. Make a motion to approve this. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. Uh, no, we haven't done these yet. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those are for I thought it was a map file. There have been a number of oil Yeah, he's got a copy. Yeah, that's number 11. Right. Yeah. Just put it up there in case you yeah. I have a number 11. <laughs> we're on nine now. Brand new library. Where are we going to go? 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 Trustees uh, approve the nomination of the following people to serve on the board. Paul Garrity, uh, Mulley Hayden Road, Hatton, Connecticut, for uh, the 2013 to 2015 uh, term. And the following current uh, trustees uh, have been nominated to serve on the 2013 to 2016 term. Uh, Vivek? Vivek, right. thank you, Padami. Uh, 18 T. Berry uh, Court in Haven, and uh, Michael Jordan, uh, 61, uh, six, excuse me, six uh, Lieutenant Shooters. Uh, yeah. We have a motion to second. All in favor? Any old business? Is that the new blank on the business? Right. Okay, you left anything to kick off? No. Oh, oh just to uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so where we are on that is that it's on the website, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, my, Touch base with Brad uh, uh, to see if he's gotten any more input uh, as a result of being on the website. We put the flag and the uh, uh, information about about the flag. I mean, what what it stands for and so on. A little bit about the, CIP, the committee for civic pride. That's all on the website um, and uh, with an indication that we're going to have a, a public hearing uh, sometime in uh, August, mid August. So I have to check with Brad and see how he is doing with his endorsements from various groups and with any input that he might have had from uh, the uh, uh, people who read it on the website. Uh, and what we'll probably do is, is after we get that information, we'll, we'll, we'll publicize the meeting when we set up for a meeting date. And uh, you know, we'll still notice the time change as well. Uh, anything else? Right. We'll do this on the 14th of the Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you'll be here on the 14th? No. Yes. Well, you know what we can do? We, can have, we might be able to have the uh, that August meeting on July 31st or yeah. something like that. And then the 14th, and then maybe have the... Yeah, you can get two weeks off anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be able to do that. Okay. Um, all right. Now, these are... Uh, um, applications for the town had a notably and disabled tax relief program uh, for the 2012 grant list. The application was denied by the assessor's office because the income uh, was below, oh, excuse me, it was over $50,000 minimum, and then these are being uh, uh, requested for us to take in as a, um, as exceptions. Uh, the, uh, that we passed a couple weeks ago, the uh, resolution change the uh, uh, elderly and disabled tax relief program to uh, uh, 
the threshold, the income threshold of 55,000, mm -hmm. you remember. Yeah. Okay, the notice has been sent out and the assessor has been so notified for the, for the new coming year. Uh, so these are for the old year and uh, we have three of them. And one of them, the first one. No names. Yeah, I know no names, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, the first one is the income is 52,717. Make a motion that we allow the exemption based upon moving up to 55,000. Okay. 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 The uh, second one, the um, um, is I'm going to do the second one. The second one is fifty-one thousand zero seven eight. I'll make a motion to make exception except that application because we've moved up to fifty-five. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And the third one is fifty-six thousand nine thirty-eight. Now. We need to talk about this one a little bit, okay? Because what we've been doing in the past yeah. is we've been allowing 10% yeah. uh, 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 on these on these appeals, and based on on you know on the need and so on, and how close they are to, uh, above that. We've been, we've been kind of approving some of those that were were within that within that 10% uh, range. This one is not within the existing 10% range, but is well within the 10% range for the revised one that we have. That will be authorized. The revised one or the new one does not take effect until, until the next calendar year. So the question is do we want to make an exception on this based on the fact that we have already modified the program uh, in anticipation of going to 55000 or do we want to just stay within the old scope of things and say, before we do that, is there any explanation? Anything in the letter that gives some hardships? Or no. Particular hardship in the letter? I'll say that. Somebody mentioned something. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, nothing about the sale of the money. Okay. Just a basic application. Just outlines the amount. Is this in the letter? Uh, no, the letter here is from the business and from the uh the assessment. Okay. Yeah. So there is no, uh, there is no specific. Hmm? Uh, well, I the only problem I've got, I, I, you know, I, we're kind of caught in the cusp on this. The only problem I've got is that there, that there have been some that were over 55,000 that were fine. Okay, and uh, because they fell within before the change was made uh, right. for the coming year. So, were they just close? Uh, no, they weren't this close. No, they weren't. This is very close. This is 56, 838. No, they weren't. They were like 58, 58,000. Okay. I'm perfectly agreeable to go with it if you guys were comfortable. All right. I'll say. Okay. All in favor? Good. All in favor. Okay. Uh, and we have public comments this evening. <coughs> yes. Um, to identify yourself. Um, Bob James. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Station one, my memory uh, serves me well, was finished in 2001, which makes this corridor about 12 years old. So uh, certainly if I was on the board of finance, still I would call the question as to why it was to be replaced like that and before we do any transfers. Um, the second question I have is why propane? I mean, the town has been just finished bidding the oil and uh, as a contract for the next year, uh, is this a policy from the town that we switch to property or can anyone decide uh, what type of fuel they want to use? Well, I don't comments. Those are two good questions. Yeah, and I, and I think uh, that, that there is out the need, as Bob had, had pointed out, to bring something to talk about that a little bit. We are not, we have not established any policy for replacing uh, you know, oil with uh, propane this time. But those are two good questions. I'm going to bring somebody in there to talk about that. Thanks. I agree. We will have to make assumptions and hopefully they can explain that. That's the third time you know, back from information. Oh, that's kind of weird. Yeah. There's an economic reason that could very well be. Yeah. There would never change. Yeah. And also, ten-year-old oil, and we did we did make it a quarter. Eleven-year-old oil. Jesus. 
Let's let's <laughs> let's point let's point on. Yes, ma'am. Can I just uh, one thing uh, going back to um, reports, uh, just to help uh, the board select to know that we are going to be scheduling a town meeting for those easements. Oh yeah. As well as to approve the uh, park and rec appointment. Is it park and rec or the authority? Park and rec authority. Those two are going to be done. Yeah, they'll be together. Okay. Yeah. Does Bruno give you words on easements? I talked to him today about it. I should be getting it tomorrow. Okay. Sure. Well, this is a this is simple easement from uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Because park and rec commission is from the Yeah, HK, yeah, the one we have to go to the town meeting for. Town meeting is the HK, HK park and rec. It's the HK rec the Adam people on the HK. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, Any days in this meeting? Um for town meeting, it has to be in the paper. Uh, it has to be in the paper five days, but they need three days, so at least eight days. If we were to schedule something tomorrow. Well, as soon as we get these, right? So we get the line that we can do that. Doug, your uh, uh, latitude in setting up a town meeting based on when we get the easement. I just had two quick questions on the boiler, also. Does the fire department have to go through the same bidding process that the town does with accepting bids? Is there any process set up for that? Yes, they, they go through, they have, a, they, they have a bidding process for them. Okay, and the lines that that money is coming out of, is that already from a heating line, the capital non-occurring line? Is that from a specific truck or what is that? No, it's from, it's from the specific uh, uh, Heating and cooling. Oh, I was in Clark. Yeah. I didn't know what that meant. I was in Clark. They're not trucks. They're, no. they're auxiliary equipment. They're fire cool. events, yeah. which is building equipment to take these trucks. Okay. But they're not taking any money from trucks. Okay. Uh, they don't present and future buying. Okay. Hopefully, we'll get a better understanding of the Yep. Okay. And anything? And how about you? That's it. This came to for our company. She wants her grant. That's what she wants. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> okay. Got a motion to uh, yes. I'll turn motion. I second. Thanks. Uh,